All right, what's up everyone? New wheel coating procedure. This is not new. new, newer to me, newer to us, to our relationship here. So Bryce and Kyle and all the guys here got on me and said, Matt, we love you, but your wheel coating system isn't gonna work for most people. And uh, most people don't have a bunch of cars most people are driving a lot of miles, and if you're doing the CSL XO on your wheels and brakes, it's going to last four months, five months, and then they're going to have to redo it. So you need to come up with something different. And I just don't like any, any of the wheel coatings. I don't like how they perform. And um, this is a product I used many, many years ago. It's clearly gotten a lot better. And so I called my friend uh, Bradley Nielsen at uh, Naples, what does he call it, Naples Auto Spa or... Naples Auto Awesome or something like that. <laughs> anyway, Bradley, I called him up and said, I need some help. And he said, you need help from me? I said, yes, I need your help. What wheel coating should I do? He said, to be honest, this sounds old school, not super fun and exciting because this is one of the original wheel coatings. Carpo Deluxe with a topping of Gliss. And so that's what we're doing. So I'm doing it. For the first time on these wheels, I've already done a couple of, uh, of, of the, uh, these are style 24M. This is the, the uh, you know, the sort of the standard lightweight from the BMW lightweight. The lightweight wheels were different than these, but I found um, ECS occasionally has some new sets. So I pre-ordered a new set of them. So these are brand new, uh, brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. And uh, we're gonna do the combination, which is available at the, on the store, obsessgarage.com, CarPro Deluxe. CarPro Gliss. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going to do two coats of uh, Deluxe, but I'm not going to do them back to back. I'm going to wait three. I talked to Corey. Corey from CarPro USA. He said, uh, you know, I would wait three or four hours. Uh, so what I've been doing is uh, kind of working on the car, working on different things while uh, throwing a coat on 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 the on the wheels at at a time. And so I'm going to do. First, we're going to prep the tires. Then we're gonna clean the wheels and then we're gonna put a coat of Gliss, I'm sorry, of uh, Deluxe on and then um, wipe that off. And, uh, and then I'll go do some other stuff three, four hours later, probably tomorrow. I'll come add another layer. Uh, and then three, four hours later, I'll put a coat of Gliss on and then they're done. So, so that's, that's the plan, that's the procedure. So first thing I'm gonna do is clean up the tires after I denib them first, as always. I don't even know how to use, I, like, I don't know how to use a camera on my own anymore. I've got to get used to this. I've been going to the gym in the morning, so that means I'm not here bothering everybody. And so that means I've been staying here a lot later, which means I don't have my camera crew. So just me. And so we're going to cut all these little nibs off. This is a Source Garage wheel stand. And then I've got some BBS E87s. So think E88, which is the 18 or 18, 18 inch version, but uh, E88 is called an E87 and a 17 inch. And so I'm doing a three piece set that are going on this car, but I won't have those for a while. And so I wanted to have a fresh, clean, new set of OE wheels. And so I bought these. I'm gonna keep the original wheels as well, for at least for now, keep those in the attic. And then um, put the BBS on when they get here. So I've did the brakes, I'm doing the suspension. And right now I'm doing TC Kleins because my Olin's TTX will be in in a few months. Since I love this car, it gets extra special love. And I denibbing the back of the tires as well. So you can see this Source Garage stand is pretty nifty. He's supposed to be sending me a new one. I wonder what happened to that. He forgot about me. Can't sell them because can't make them make enough of them for me. It builds them one at a time. Okay, so now let's do the wheels, or I'm sorry, the tires. So I'm gonna take some Stoner's Terminator. 
spray it on the towel. I've gone away from spraying it on the wheel and the tire on any of wheels. So this, doing it this way will ensure you don't end up with jacking up your matte black wheels with some dried on Terminator. You don't want that. So I just keep, I use a little bit more product, but I just keep revisiting the towel. So I always do this process after mounting and balancing. You're gonna have to clean the wheels up anyway after mounting and balancing, all the soap and stuff. Obviously these were pretty easy to mount. There's not a lot of soap, if any, on this setup. So, um, but, but doing this cleanup process here just makes more sense. So there's no reason to put your, coat your wheels and have problems with potential wheel sticking issues or wheel weight sticking issues. And so I find it to be better to just do it after the fact. So we get all our wheels, tires, coating, all that prep work, all this done after I get the wheels back from mounting and balancing. It's kind of pointless to clean the inside of the tire, but, or the inside portion of the tire on the wheel. But this is getting extra special treatment. What do you think the odds? Is this gonna be a forever car for me or not? We'll see. We shall see. I'm sure one day I'll wake up and I'm like, this is taking up space. I need to get rid of this thing. Hopefully that's many years from now. All right, so let's prep the surface. The wheels are pretty clean, but if you were doing this, you would have to, if you're doing this to wheels you already have, you would have to do some claying and you know, really cleaning up better than I'm about to do right now. But because these are brand spanking new, I just wanna make sure I get any I'll show you that's some dirt behind the clear coat. I don't want to make sure I get any oils and funk off of here. Fingerprints, things like that. But that's about the extent of what needs to be done to prepare these wheels. But if you had something older, you would need to do a lot more prep work. Just spray that side, wipe off the excess that came through. So now, when we get into this old school stuff, Deluxe is nowhere near as nice to work with as all the stuff I've been teaching you about. So you gotta be, you're gonna have to be a bit more um, discerning. You have to be a little smarter about your application. You can't just wing it when we're dealing with these uh, older school, heavier duty coatings, if you will. This is a high temp, coating designed for wheels and calipers. But the user experience is not what you're used to if you've only played with some of the new stuff. If you only played with CSLXO like I've taught you about, this is quite a bit more complicated to work with. But Deluxe is much better from what I remember back in the day. So, it's not too bad. It's just real tacky, real sticky. In comparison to stuff that I usually use. All right, so there's Gliss. Here's Deluxe. Should I shake it up? They both come with stoppers. I've got a towel that I'm gonna use. And I was just going to get something, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, center cap, I need a center cap. I'm gonna get some IND painted floating center caps for this, but for now, we're just gonna put these on, because this is what I got. I'm gonna index that with the M logo. These are kinda of tricky to get in here, so. Boom. Okay, that's on. They come with, in the box, they come with five of these, which should be about what you need. Take the coating, make sure you blow off any funk on there. Probably, probably doesn't do you any good to use your coating removal towel, but we'll be fine. And I'm gonna uh, get my 
applicator set up here. The thing I don't love about the blue bottles is you can't see, like I won't use this whole bottle on this set of wheels, even doing two coats. And so you can't see in that blue bottle to see if there's anything floating around in there. But this is about a minute flash time, which means it's really hard to see on these wheels what's going on because it's a, it's a gloss silver. And so what I'm doing is just the timing of it as I'm doing the face of the wheel and then I'll wipe off and then I'm going to do the barrel of the wheel and then I'm going to wipe off. And that seems to have worked pretty well. I've already done the passenger side set of wheels. But this is a lot tackier, a lot gummier, doesn't, doesn't dry slick, so it's no fun. But it works a lot better than using our flagship coating on the paint. If you want this to last a while or if you're going to the track or you're heating up stuff more than I am or you don't have your daily drive in the car, then putting 20, 30,000 miles a year on this is going to last you a lot longer than the other procedure. So the, the, as soon as I finished, I wipe it off in the same pattern that I put it on, but it's such a pain to wipe flat. It's so sticky. Again, this would be easier to do if I had some black wheels. I'd be able to see it easier, but it's not horrible. It's not like the original days of coatings where you'd really have high probability of messing it up. So this is still, I would classify this still as a very usable consumer coating. You just, you gotta be a bit more diligent. This towel's too fuzzy. I just didn't wanna go get a coating removal towel, which I should have. And your towel is certainly useless afterwards. You're gonna throw it away. And we're gonna let this cure for at least three hours. I'm gonna let this cure till tomorrow. But I'm going to do the other wheel. And what I'll do is I'll come back to you on video tomorrow and show you the, the gliss step. But the first and second coat, the application is identical. It even comes out of the bottle a little bit more complicated. Since I can't see anything, I make sure I work off my valve stem. And so you can see application processes are the same as any other coating. You don't need to be some expert. You just notice like this thing just is, is grabbing. It's not slick. It's a little harder to work with, but this coating combination still beads water and has the self-cleaning capabilities that I love of you know a slick coating so the gliss will make it slick at the end so water will still bead which is a lot of the wheel coatings that's the problem you don't get you don't get the same water behavior it just doesn't doesn't behave well um, so we'll get we'll get good we get good water behavior with this combination but then we also get the longevity we're looking for. I don't want to do my wheels every single time. I, I'm happy to polish my car once a year, and, but I don't want to mess with the wheels that often if I can help it. Make sure you put your cap back on so you don't ruin the stuff. Some people might, ar might argue you should put the cap back on after every, every time you put some drops on the towel, but you can just see, it's just grabby. So I don't, I don't like that on, if I had to do a whole car with this kind of coating, I'm just not interested. I want it to be slick, not tacky. 
but I'm making the sacrifice on wheels because we probably do need this. So thanks to Bradley for the suggestion, getting me back on track, getting us a solid wheel coating solution that will last a while, has self-cleaning capabilities. You have to stay tuned for some wash and talks when you get to see this in action. I'm gonna do my Tesla wheels as well here soon. But that's it. So that's it for the first layer. And what I've been doing on these tires, these new tires, I'm gonna dress the tires now. So that way it can kind of soak in and do what it does. I find that the OG tire dress dressing tends to do better if you put a decent thick coat on, let it kind of soak in without wiping the excess off. And then we, I mean, I like this dry tire look. It just doesn't stay that way. So until we get dry ice machines in everybody's house, this is what we got to do. We got to dress the tire. So I'll just let this sit. Then we'll do another quick application of the tire dressing before we put it on the car and then we'll wipe off the excess and wipe it flat. As flat as we can get it. So it only takes about three squirts to do a whole tire. That's about all you need, three or four. Okay, so I'll see you guys in 10 seconds, but for me, it'll be tomorrow. And we'll do the second and we'll do the second and third coats. Okay, last step in the wheels, I'd put a second coat of um, Deluxe on the wheels uh, this morning, say 10 o'clock, something like that. No, what time did I really get here? Like 11.30. <laughs> so, so I went to the gym this morning, in fairness, but um, I put another coat of, uh, of Deluxe on the wheels and I'm gonna top it with Gliss. So it's been curing for you know four or five hours now. And what you'll notice when you put the top coat on, it goes on much slicker. See how much, there's no grab or anything like that. And it wipes off easier too. And so I'm um, following the same procedure where I'm doing the face, staying organized, hitting all of the cracks and crevices of the wheel, and then we'll wipe it off, and then we'll go do the rear, or the barrel of the wheel, and then the wheels are done. I was playing with a, a brush, and I put a second coat of tire dressing on it. It's clearly didn't need it, but I'll wipe off all this excess. And then that's my first, pick some hard wheels to do my first application of Deluxe that uh, these, you can't see anything on these darn wheels because they're just basic clear coated. Can't see anything, just can't see what you've done and where, where you've been. So I've been using the valve stem as my guide on this whole thing. I tend to wipe off or level and theoretically, we're not wiping off, we're just leveling the topper. This is a top coat. This is what makes it bead water better, self-clean a little better. And then the Deluxe is offering you your main protection from the elements, brake dust, caking up and things like that. Chemical resistance. I like working with these 17s instead of the 21s that I'm, 20s and 21s that I'm always dealing with that are 12 or 13 inches wide. And we'll do the barrel. And then we'll just clean the wheels with PNS Brake Buster regularly. And occasionally spray on like Bead Maker as a drying aid or something like that on top when I'm if I ever need to dry them, but generally you don't even need to do that because usually the wheels will blow off dry with your leaf blower. Put the cap back on, wipe off the excess, and we're done. So, smaller the wheel the better, but just to recap, we denibbed, then we cleaned, you would clay bar and polish if you needed to, if they were older wheels, but you clean and prep. If you don't do the prep, it's not gonna stick. You're gonna be wasting your time. 
So you do your prep, then you do your first application of the coating, the main coating, and then you can do a second coat if you want to, like I did, but let it cure for at least three hours. I would let it cure for a day or so, like I did. Um, we also, oh, in between there, I forgot we treated the, the tires, so we, we used a Stoner's Terminator to really deep clean the front and back tire of the tires. I dressed the tires, then a second coat of Deluxe, then waited, you know, three, at least three hours and put our gliss on and now it's ready for the car. So no more nibs, nice and clean. I find that the tire dressing does better after you kind of condition the tires, clean them a couple of times and uh, reapply. So anyway, E36 projects coming along. I'll put these on the car soon. Just stay tuned for those videos, but uh, as always, stay tuned for more crazy. I'm gonna keep, uh, keep chasing this uh, perfection on this uh, E36. See you soon.